Aisha Fofana is a Gambian painter who returned home after decades in Europe to help build up her country's art scene. Let's now meet the artist who's acting upon the belief that art can greatly contribute to Gambia's economy. So what do you think we're going to put here? Here we're going to put all in one color. Okay. And then after... Aisha Fofana is teaching a group of her time, students to, to produce tie-dye fabrics in batiks at her gallery in Batokunku, a small town 20 kilometers from Gambia's capital, Banjul. The 45-year-old artist moved back to her native country two years ago after spending almost a decade living and working in Germany. I would like to try. Yeah, why not? It's like a try. Good. Today, she's urging her students to create unique okay. motives and not just copy what they see other people doing. People are doing almost the same. It's always the same, the same, the same. So at least it's nice to make some changes in it, you know. So they are not really ready yet because after it can have even a touch of paint or a, a dye with, I mean, some, um, how to call it, lines in it or um, figures in it and so on. So I just try to show the girls that it's not only the tie and dye or the one way which they are used to, but to make their own creativity from the batik to turn it something like a real art. Yeah, what I have learned today, I know that it can help me to develop myself if I use it to be a career, and that's what I want. I want it to be my profession. If I take it my professional job, I think it can help me in, in the future. Gambia is mainland Africa's smallest country. Its Atlantic Ocean coastline attracts tourists and much-needed foreign exchange. I want to add into the development of tourism and culture in my country because when I was in Germany I see a lot of gaps that needs to be done here so I am back home to help you know to fulfill this um, to fill up these gaps you know though I cannot help everyone but the little I can help to give them the message this one can transfer the message to others so this is why I'm coming back not for only the batik or the painting but creativity in general. Aisha believes that investment in the arts and crafts sectors will not only create jobs for some of the country's 1.7 million people, but help increase the numbers of visitors bringing in foreign exchange. And then I have the other one here, and this is also another pound. She's acted you know, on her conviction by creating the Mama Africa Museum and Art Center in Batokunku. The museum, which is also a non-profit organization, officially opened in February this year and aims to showcase the lives of modern African women and exhibit contemporary African art. Guests can interact with local artists and also learn about yeah, Gambian yeah, yeah, yeah. music, dance, dress and food. Yeah. So there is something about friends. I believe friends should hold hands together, love each other, help each other. This is my own feeling about friends. This is painting is talking about freedom. Mm. And this shows a woman with the hands up and this could show you how important freedom is then you're free. You True. know, when you're free, mm. you're free. Aisha funds the museum and training of young artists in various mediums through the sale of her paintings and museum entrance fees. She also helps to raise their profile by selling their work alongside hers. Prices here range from 100 to 10,000 US dollars. I'm seeing artworks that are actually dying in the Gambia that I don't see anywhere else. And uh, materials that I have not seen from my childhood time. And I'm um, turning and seeing the sister that owns this place, the way she is dressed impressed me. She, she, she is taking the real African woman picture. I can feel she's deep into her picture paintings and um, you can see she's really in tune with what she's doing. I love the place and um, I am so impressed because everything is natural and if you, know, if you love nature this is the place to be. Aisha's clients are mostly Banjul's wealthy elite who buy her work to decorate their homes and businesses. Her work is displayed throughout Ngala Lodge, a popular hotel. I live now here for 10 years and uh, it's not easy 
to see the, the, the special artists, but there are big, big professionals. Look at this, it's so refreshment, and, and, and you, you see the feeling she had on that day, she made into it, and it makes a room complete and very nice. Yeah. When Aisha isn't busy teaching others or organizing exhibitions or performing her duties as the international representative for the Gambian Artist Association, then she's using the time for her own work. She's been painting for over 20 years now, so it's her preferred medium. Yeah. This is my kind of imagination. I have for African women, the tall, slim, black. And then when, they are, when I make these waves, which mean that the body movement, the movement, because when you talk about Africa, you talk about rhythm. And here, the women carry the music, you know. They love to sing, they love to dance, they love to play, you know. In anything they are doing, they are in action. Not only are her colorful pieces a form of personal expression, they present her tireless efforts to ensure that the culture and beauty of her country become known beyond its borders. To watch that story and many others, you can log on to www.youtube.com forward slash Africa Journal, where you can also tell us what you think. Or you can write to us directly at africa.journal at reuters.com. Until next time, when we find out how Kenyan farmers are defeating drought and climate change, it's goodbye from me, Mujo Masinde, and the rest of the Africa Journal team. Thank you for watching.